YouTube. Um, this is the third part of the McDonald's series. And in this part, I'm going to be showing you how to make this hamburger. This is made out of cold porcelain, and it is finished. It's dried and everything. So what you're going to need is you're going to need two balls um, about the same size. And you're going to need another pair that are just about the same size that are smaller than the first two. So you're going to take your first two pairs your first two that were bigger and you're going to press down to make one end of it flat and keep its dome shape. You can just do this by pressing down and rounding your fingertips and pressing the top and making sure that it is in fact round in dome. So that is your top bun. <coughs> and then you want to take this one <coughs> and you want to basically flatten it out completely and make sure you have about the same size bun. You want to make sure the bottom one is thinner than your top one otherwise it will look really weird and it won't look real. <laughs> it will look like you have two top buns instead of a top one and a bottom one. So we're going to measure this again, make sure it's nice and round. And these fit together just about perfect. So we're going to keep that and we're going to open it so we know which side is which. Now we're going to take one of the smaller balls of clay we're going to put it into a sort of triangular shape like that just kind of pull at the corners okay and then you want to take your other and you want to make a really, really flat kind of triangle, or no, teardrop shape, like that. And I will tell you what that is later. And then I forgot a little ball, and you need to have this just about as big as the bun, you know, top or bottom, about as thick as the bottom, though. You're going to make a ball and you're just going to flatten it about like that. And you're going to take this sort of squared off one and you can do this um, and get it perfectly square by trimming off these unwanted edges. And that's basically how you want it. I only trimmed three because this one was pretty much square. So now we're going to put that on top of one of our circles. We're going to drape each of the corners over a little bit. About like that. And then you want to take this teardrop shape. And you want to put it underneath. And curve it upwards like that. And you want to take your bottom bun and you want to take it and put it like that. And then you want to take your top bun, press it on there really nicely. And this is going to create that 3D effect. like that and you see right here that draping over the bottom bun is the lettuce in the middle is the meat on the top that draped over was the cheese on top is obviously the top bun and then we have the bottom bun and also to add texture to this um, I don't know where my tin foil went uh oh uh, I'll just I'll use this piece 
and you want to add texture by just pressing it to the line kind of roughly and swiftly so it's uneven and that will give the impression of sesame seeds and then do the same on the bottom that way when it's fired it's pretty easy to tell what it is and it still looks good my camera is acting really funny to where when I get up close it won't focus but that is your hamburger this one's a little bit smaller than this one my bad but it's basically the same thing only my lettuce on this one is underneath the patty but it's on top of the cheese that's on top of the meat which is on the bottom bun which isn't really good but it's a hamburger <laughs> So this concludes the series and I will show you all of them. This is the milkshake, the fries, and the burger. And this is a large fries by the way. So now with that we have all these, I'm going to include a little bonus which is to make a tray for it. So you want to get off a nice good sized piece of clay I'm just going to do this really fast and this is going to be a square tray let me grab my knife because I stupidly didn't have it out here like I usually did so I'm just reaching through stuff while I'm pressing this down okay here we go you just want to cut off that side, cut off that side, cut it off like right there to where it gives it like a rounded area like that. And smooth those sides. And you want to press it down a little bit more. And bring up the sides a little bit. Just these two sides. Well, no, we'll do all four just to show you. Alright, there's a little square tray for your fries, for burger, and your drink. This is kind of undersized, but let's just do it for the hamburger, french fries, and then the drink on the side. So, I gave a little bonus that I didn't think I was going to do. So, there you have it. There is your McDonald's milkshake, fries, and a burger. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!